Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be trying to get Colette to 1k. So, uh, I actually missed about an hour or so of pushing, but now we have Tom and Casey helping us with the 1k grind. So, definitely check them out below. But yeah, as you can see, I'm actually really far behind. As I said before, just really struggled to find an actual team to push with. But once we've got Tom and Casey, things have been pretty uh, plain sailing. So... Uh, the thing about Colette, you definitely need a good team. You definitely need some good teamwork to take out a lot of people because she's really bad as a solo brawler. But yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into some games. Okay, guys, jumping into the first game then. So as I said, Colette, uh, to begin with, was really hard to play with, but slowly learning her interactions. So the first one I'd like to point out is the one with her gadget. A lot of people obviously won't have a max, but when you have a max, uh, like most of the time when you're pushing this high, the uh, key interaction to kind of think about is when a uh, Brula is below 1.8k HP. I think it's about 1,792, I think it is to be exact. The gadget does uh, once you're full HP. Uh, yeah, I actually got that bang on, as you can see. But that's the kind of interaction you want to uh, actually memorize to begin with. That's the one that's going to be the key difference maker to finish off with squishier Brulas and whatnot. But... Uh, that's what I found out anyway. But looking like we can just breeze through this first game. So not really going to talk about too much in this one. Let's hop right into the next game. Okay, guys. Going into the next game then. So uh, switching over to the gene instead. And as I said, in the first game, that's kind of the fir first interaction you want to memorize. And then uh, normally it's all about finishing off kills with uh, your super. So it does 20%, I believe, once it returns and hits them. And that's really key in getting down them tanks and whatnot. Because for a tanky brawler, uh, f for example, like Frank, you're going to be doing, uh, I can't actually memorize. I know Jackie, uh, for, for example, is like 2.2k when you uh, dash forward and dash back, which is an insane amount of uh, damage. You can just cycle a few shots and then uh, super and you're just going to deal insane damage. As I said, uh, it's, it's really good damage. I should be able to kill this max really easily. But the thing about uh, super, it's going to be bad against the squishy brawlers because it's not going to honestly deal uh, as much damage as it could against the uh, thingy one. So I think Tom uh, was actually lagging there, but it looks like he's back. That was a really bad super from myself, not being able to get uh, much uh, damage off there. But I believe the interaction is with a super as well. I think it's two or three shots and then you super. Then I think you can kill basically anyone. I've realized that with uh, the squishy brawlers like Max and uh tara and other brothers like that whenever I shoot them twice and then use my super we will survive like 100 hp so i believe you do need to actually shoot them twice uh three times and then super and get the double hit to kill them but for a low level uh collect i believe i believe it's going to be really bad uh just because you don't have the gadget to finish them off you don't have the knockback which is crucial to get that double hit and uh, obviously it stuns them as well with the knockback. It's a really good star power. And I really like it. I've been really enjoying this, uh, the super out of Colette. It's a really fun one to have. I'm just going to super here. Looking like the spike's going to take me down. Allow you nearly going on to score there. Looking like Tom can actually super the spike as well. So you've got to be really careful. Because obviously you're not invulnerable when you're dashing in. Uh, but it's, it's super fun. I mean, I've definitely underestimated Colette. I'm starting to learn uh, her usages. I don't think she'll be a good competitive brawler because... Uh, for example, when people are just really low in Brawl uh, a lot of desperate situations happen like that. And uh, it's where, obviously, Colette is vulnerable. Looking like we can score here. No way this Piper is going to be able to defend us. So that's going to be another win for us. Let's hop right into the next game. Okay, guys, getting into the next game then. So Poco is supposed to be one of her better matchups. Uh, slowly learning in the beginning stages when facing Poco Double Tank, I actually struggled. But you start to learn the interactions with uh, Colette for sure. So I'm just going to use Super here. As you can see, I do 2k damage to BB. And that is pretty insane if you think about it. I can just basically get two, a couple of shots on her and uh, super her like instantly and you're able to get a lot of damage off. So that's a nice super from Tom. We should be able to make it go happen. That was a bad super from KC though. I don't really see that too often from him to be fair. But looking like we should be able to score this. Uh, maybe we can actually get a trick shot off here. Nice, we're able to score that. So I was actually planning to uh, uh, hit it off the backboard and then super but... Uh, normal of still able to do it. So I think Casey's actually lagging here, which is a bit unfortunate. We should still be able to uh, uh, save it, maybe. I don't know. It's really hard when you pressure back with Colette, for sure, unless you've got a super. But a super, as I said, is one of the best in the game, I believe. Once people learn how to uh, face off against it, I need to super this ball out, though. Um, hopefully Tom can get this. Nice. He's got a heal pet. Damn, just going down. Casey should be able to get the ball off this mortis. Nice. Really well played there, so... Yeah, getting close to this 1k now some really sweaty games uh the biggest counter to collect for sure though if you guys are wondering is 1 million percent mr p uh if it's a mr p in your game it's gonna be so hard for collect to do much at all because uh yeah, there is like a cap on like turrets or spawners or anything 
uh, you can still it still takes loads of shots i believe it takes like five shots to take down a porter even like six which is just insane for something that has 1900 hp and we just keep spawning over and over again so yeah that's biggest counter we're going to be winning another game let's hop right into the next one all right guys heading into the next game then so looks like we're facing off against a bull and a mortis colette is pretty decent against these brawlers also with colette she's actually got really fast uh bullet speed so uh, you can actually unleash your shots really fast especially with auto aim so she's definitely a good auto aim brawler if you're thinking about that for sure but looking like tom can go and score and open a score and so really well played from him but i mean i've slowly been enjoying colette uh over my time not been facing too much mr p that's probably the reason why but maybe if colette ever becomes meta mr p for sure will be the biggest counter and uh, then she'll probably be removed from the meta so looking like ball can actually get a good double kill there so i'm gonna pop my gadget and get the kill on this girl here i might be able to sneak a goal if the mortis doesn't actually kill us and i'm able to do so so that's another win for us let's hop right into the next game okay guys up against poco double tank so again this should be one of our best matchups looking like this team wants to give us a free win now not actually too sure frank's gonna kill me so uh even though they're spinning it looks like they still want to play so i thought we're gonna get an easy goal but tom's able to do so anyway so really well played from tom but that's a really annoying thing that some people do they tend to spin and then all of a sudden start playing but look like these guys probably have finally given up but that's what i was saying about frank i can deal 4k uh damage to him which is insane uh with a super look like we can actually uh get another win here but i think it's actually 20 percent per hit so it's up to 40 percent damage that a super can do which is insane but that's gonna be another win for us it's gonna be a really quick video i've just realized let's hop right into the last game all right guys heading into the next game so it looks like i loaded it in uh pretty late here so looking like they're probably going to score in the first engagement which is a bit annoying but we should be able to make a comeback i'm not too sure why i didn't load in but uh then again we should be doing pretty good against frank and jackie i believe i can absolutely melt them just a couple of shots and a super should be enough to take these guys down so jackie's gonna be one shot and so's this um max is gonna be pretty annoying i'm gonna go super to frank we're gonna be able to kill him so a bit of a clutch from us in the end max super i'm just gonna pass this up should be able to get this Jackie down. Okay, nice. I did activate my gadget though. Uh, but I'll probably just use this on the Frank. Casey going in for the goal. Really nice play from him. So even with a bad start, didn't load in. Uh, the main reason why we conceded there, we're still able to score. And uh, we're actually three games away from uh, getting a rank, uh, rank 30 just because we lost one game before. Again, it's really hard to get consistent wins with Colette. And look like Casey's carried us again. So, I mean, I've not really done anything in that game. Casey stealing the show completely. Let's hop right into the next game. All right, guys. Now only two wins away from the uh, 1,000 trophy Colette. I think I'm like the seventh person to get it if I get it in the next two games. So, that would be pretty epic. Looking like I'm actually going to get pretty low though from this max, uh, which is a bit annoying. Should be able to get this Jackie down uh, pretty quickly though. Uh, just somehow get into my range, so I probably should have used my super because, uh, as I've said before, I do actually deal like 2.4k uh, damage to her with my super, which is pretty insane. Looking like we've got Vitara heal pet behind us though, so uh, we're actually in a pretty good position. Max, as you can see, 900 HP and still got to take like three shots to take max down but as you can see look how good that super is it's so satisfying to get that off looking like we can maybe make a goal happen but no jackie's going to clear that off so we're still in a decent position though uh we've got max and tom still alive still two gadgets left so not really getting the most usages out of it at the moment but it should be coming in clutch against like for example the spike uh halfway through to my super i need to try and get to jackie but jackie's in a really good position behind uh, the walls probably need to heal up before I go in here. Uh, let's just wait a second. Jackie's probably going to go and catch me off guard because she can actually catch up to me. We're, on it. We're actually in a real bad position here. But Tom with a nice pull. Casey should be able to go back with the healing pet. Nice, nice, really well played. So, uh, yeah, minute in and being carried again at the moment. But that's kind of what Colette is. I mean, it's really hard to actually stand out with what you do with Colette. Uh, even against tanks, it's still pretty hard, as you can see. But uh, slowly chipping her uh down here i'm just gonna go dash and take her down instantly as you can see you can use the walls to just get like instant damage it's, it's really good you can actually rebound really fast and it's like think of it like a coal shot you can actually um you can actually ricochet off the wall and whatnot but that's gonna be a really nice pass from kc i'm gonna be able to score there so tom with super it's gonna be good on the respawn need to make sure this jackie doesn't push up that's a really nice super again from tom we're getting kind of shredded at the minute we're gonna get go down but KC again and Tom playing really, really well. So that super's probably blocking off KC. But 30 seconds left to hold on for this win. We should be in a pretty decent position to win this game. So uh, let's see who to go for. So obviously with Colette, 
the matchups you want to be going for. Always the tankier brawlers. Always focus uh, your fire on the tanky brawlers. The ones with the most, most HP. And you're going to be having a good time. So again, Casey, with a really nice goal. Only one game away. Let's hop right into it. All right, guys. One game left for this Claire 1000. So again, I can actually just focus on all of these brawlers because they're quite uh, tanky brawlers. Most of these are below. I mean, above the like, average kind of hit points. But looking like this, Sandy's going to go try and walk it in. But we're able to defend that. So we're going to try and get a stun on the Daryl. We're able to do that as well. So, I mean, we kind of do shred uh, the really tanky brawlers. I've kind of learned how to do that. I mean, on the face of it, it looks easy. But uh, after learning, as I said, it's all about kind of chaining your supers on them. So really nice kill from Tom. We need to wait for this respawn. And then we're just going to use our super on both of these and take them both down. That's a really good use of the super there, as you can see. Uh, it's really hard to actually counter the super of Colette. Not actually face too many Colettes, so I'm not too sure how to counter it. Obviously, I've not played scrims and whatnot, but uh, just off the face of it, it seems like a lot of people struggle to do too much against it. So, again, this is a really good example of that. The fact I just can't do anything against this spawner. It takes me like five shots to take that down. But look like Casey should be able to score. He actually know he comes back, but it looks like Tom's got super. He might be able to make something happen. We'll see, but yeah, that's just another example. You literally can't take out... Uh, any type of spawner, so like a Mr. P turret, like a Pam turret, Penny turret, literally nothing. You just can't take it out unless you use like a gadget or something. But look like Casey should be able to score there. And that's going to be the 1k collect right there, as you guys can see. So uh, that is pretty epic. But that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts, first thoughts on Colette. I'm going to say she's just under the weak side. I thought she was going to be absolutely terrible. But yeah, just under the weak side. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of today's video. Uh, I'm probably the look like I'm the seventh or eighth uh, 1k uh, in the world. So as you can see, look at the race between Wadi, Equac, and the Charpy. That'll be really close to see who gets the first one. But I didn't really want to go for that anyway. Just wanted 1k because I'm pushing overall. But that's going to be the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, come subscribe. Uh, check out Tom and KC in the description below. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.